What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Comics of the Week. I'm your host, J Dub. With me, as always, well, up third? To a a third, blank chair. Third of us, a fourth of us is missing? <laughs> a third of us. Fourth Dan, of us. Dan, Dan. 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 He's invisible. Dan. Dan. Daniel. Dan. Daniel Kelly Art. Is he in Ravens the closet suck. again? Ravens suck. Are Just you saying Dan should come out of the closet? <laughs> yeah, Dan. Dan is, um, but let's get it started, guys. As, like I said, as always, I'm Jamie J Dub. With me is this great group of people. Hey, Dan, thanks for joining. There we go. Hey, <laughs> Jay, thanks for joining us. I would have been back in time if the water dispenser on my refrigerator wasn't so damn slow. <laughs> but with us, as always, we got the one, the only, the slab guy himself. Sale. Tell them where they can find you. We're not doing codex things on codex. Oh, well, when I'm doing codex things, you can always find me on YouTube under Sal's Common Corner and Instagram as the Slab Guy 77 And then we do have the one invisible man himself, also on now Instagram. Visible. Yeah, owner of Instagram, does things on Instagram, plays with Instagram, and touches plays Instagram. Instagram. Oh, hello! <laughs> Dan, tell them where they can find you. On Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I will reach out through Instagram and touch you with the magic of my art and my songs. I thought that was going somewhere totally different. <laughs> so go give me a follow and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, let Yikes. me know what you'd like to see next. And then make sure you check out all the stuff that this guy beside me has going on. Because Down there. it's super interesting and uh, very informative. Which he's going to tell you about right now. Ed- educational. Comics in Ed- the Comic Ed- Library. Woo! It's That's educational. Right. It's educational too. Inspirational, educational, and foundational. That's right. That's what we do here. That's what we do. And motivation. Promos, baby. I'm loving it. There we go. Comic Logic. Come see us. We are Loudoun County, Virginia's only comic book store. I happen to be a proud co-owner. I would love to see you. You want to see me? You can come every Wednesday morning when I'm getting my fix of comics. You put them in the bloodstream right here. Gives you muscles. Makes you strong. That's what you want. You want that four color ink in there to pulse through you. Yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. So come see us at Comic Logic. Uh, we also do a Facebook live show every Thursday, uh, the first three Thursdays of every month. Um, the first one is our preview show. We talk about new books, second and third Thursday. Comic Logic, we present Ye Grumpy Old Nerds, where myself, my best friend Mike Arbor, and our principal owner Rob Kalen, we talk about comics, we talk about movies, sports. Um, television, and a bunch of other old man stuff. So please come come be a part of that. These fellows here have all contributed to that show, and we appreciate that. And uh, also we want to give a uh, shout-out to something we're all connected with, which is the comic character of the day site founded by our good buddy, Archduke Kevy. It's the reason that we are all acquainted, so we owe him a debt of gratitude. And um, I post the cover of the day under the name Opie Taylor. Um Dan is posting a random panel of the day and questions of the day. Sal uh, has posts that he puts on quite frequently. And our creator up there, our founder, he is always watching. He has a watchful eye on us to make sure he is our voyeur. And he is there watching us every step we take. Our founder, (laughs) the man who laid this foundation brick by brick and built this channel J Dub, yes, the guy I'm, in the trench coat outside the window at night. That's yes, right. I am with nothing it looks else like on. A banana right now. Let's go I ahead. do. Hey, I just because I got I got my lifting shirt on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> gotta awesome. Do it. Gotta look like it. But guys, again, thank you, Ric Flair to Ultimate Warrior. I love the promo. Woo. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you to start shaking walls. But guys, you guys know what I'm about to say. Thank. You. Sale once again. You can find us at the codexstation.com. It's your one stop shop for everything. Codex, meet the team, get some merch, let us know what you like and don't like, and find all of our socials on there and all of our playlists so you don't miss out on any of the content that we're providing for you. Because, guys, we give our all week in, week out for you. We love doing this and we love doing this for you. So, guys, just give us a check, even a like, share, subscribe if you want. You know, every little bit helps. So, thank you and go check it out. We don't just give you the tip. We give it all to you. Yeah, every single bit, which isn't a lot, but I try. Right. <laughs> you ever heard that Springsteen song, Ramrod? Uh, let's go into something better than that. 
recording. <laughs> What's better than that? Actually, it is our sponsor, W oh. Energy. Guys, go check out W Energy at W.GG. Cleanest form of energy drinks you're going to have on the market today. Better than anything out there that's, you know, your Monsters, your Red Bulls. You don't get the jitters. There's no bad aftertaste. Everyone on this team has tried it. Everyone thoroughly enjoys it except for Sal, who lost his monkey madness. But they've been coming out with new flavors and at random, and it's been amazing to see. Guys, go get your order right now. And at checkout, use the keyword code hyphen X and save yourself 10% on your order. Go check them out again. That's W.GG. Use the keyword code hyphen X and save that 10%. 10%? Yeah. So, you guys ready to get into today's show? Party, baby. All right. We're going to kick it off with not me. Ah, damn. Ah, damn. Well, I got a, a bit, a little bit of a stack, though, not as much as the other guys. Uh, so, Sapphire just posted he only got two comics from his pool this week. Mm. So. For once, yeah. uh, you know, I actually have a few more than that. So I got Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Season 2, Issue 6. If you've watched the show, there's absolutely zero reason to pick this up. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> well, it's true. it's true. And so when the first season, the comic for the first season came out, I was like, oh, yeah. And I picked up the first couple issues and then realized they're not adding anything to it. It's just copying the show. But at that point, I'm like, all right, I'll just finish it out because it's only eight issues. Then when the second season started, I forgot to take it off my pull, so it started putting them in. I was like, all right, well, it's only eight issues. I'll finish that up, and I'll have to, yeah, you know, I'll just have to cancel it before the third season, before the third season book started. But at least it's a bunch of first appearances of Star Wars characters. So there's that. There is that. Yeah, you got uh, Immortal Thor number four. Yes. Alex Ross, goodness. Yeah, he's yep. been doing some cool covers for that. Yes. Uh, Green Lantern number five. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I don't know if you saw, Jamie, uh, Ron Mars announced on Twitter that um, it's either the next issue or one of the ones after that where Kyle Rayner's going to be in it. Yeah, I know. I was so, so, so happy. Got the uh, Detective Comics 1077, Batman on the Way to the Gallows. Great cover. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely like an old Western movie type of cover. Yeah. Uh, the books that Sal was trying to get me to buy multiple copies of, like it was uh, like it was an issue of Venom for him. Uh, <laughs> the Howling Commandos number yeah. two. Yeah, and he didn't. Damn it. But he did. He only bought one copy. <laughs> well, it's not like you with your issues of Venom where I have to have one like in every in every corner of the house. Like I'll <laughs> Like how you always have to have I, one with an arm's reach. I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I got uh I'll post Wolf the Knight. video later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do a super cut video of just Sal every time he uh, shows multiple copies of the same issue of Venom. Yes. <laughs> It'd be a three hour long short. <laughs> It'd be a three hour short. <laughs> you got uh World's Finest Teen Titans number five. That's a, I like that cover. Nice. Yeah, that's good cover. That's good I think cover. this is the C cover. Yeah. 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 I uh, yeah, I'm really digging that one. Uh, Wesley Dodds, The Sandman, issue two. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I really, I haven't read it. Yeah, I haven't read any of these yet. I'm still kept up my reading, but uh, I really like the first issue. Uh, Rocketeer, Den of Thieves, number four. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, I'm I'm yeah. I'm digging that they're putting out a lot a lot of Rocketeer miniseries now. <laughs> uh Daredevil issue three. Uh you got this one, uh Outsiders number one. Thought I would uh oh, yeah. pick it up world. and give it a try and see how it is. I have not read it yet, but apparently the ending is really good, so we'll see. Uh Geiger Ground Zero number mm-hmm. one. Really What's that about? Um, What's Geiger about? It looks like yeah, a cool. I've movie. always seen it, and it's our. The, the funny thing is, it's going to be our thumbnail this week, thanks to Uncle Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a good it's a good book. It's a whole universe that uh, Gar- that um, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank are creating. I I 
there's been there's been um gosh the robot uh was it gi robot Joe, no. Joe. I, Joe, 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 Joe. Joe, Joe, yeah yeah they Joe, even got a bunch of in the back you can get the red coat so it's it's a whole universe he's building i i, I like it so far yeah because they did uh they did the first geiger miniseries and then they did red coat uh, the, uh no, the second no, they did the first Geiger one. Then they did that like one shot that had a bunch of different characters mm-hmm. in it. Then they did Junkyard Joe, and then now they're doing. The, I don't think they've done Redcoat yet, have they? Well, he was he Joe. was part of the he was on the um the that, one shot that one shot he, he had yeah. a story in there. Yeah, because and then they're doing the second Geiger one now, and then I think they're going to do like a mini series for each of these characters before they kind of bring everything together. Yep. But I mean, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, you can't go wrong. Oh yeah, good team, good team. Yeah. Got uh, it's back once again. GI Joe, a real American hero, issue three hundred one. Cool. Which uh, I mean, I grew up. I mean, I grew up with GI Joe comics and the cartoon, so I was pretty psyched. This so it's been so long since you know this continues because he did the Marvel. It's Larry Hammer writing it, so he did you know the whole Marvel series, and then when that got canceled, and which company had it that was um that which company had it was it IDW was the last it was IDW company? yeah where where they picked up you know like pick up a real American hero from where you left off and keep it going with the numbering and then they lost it and now Image has it and then he's picking it up again so oh I have to you know I think the I flipped through it the beginning couple pages kind of give like a real quick summary of stuff and then I also got the blank sketch cover for it so I'm going to decide what it is I'm going to draw on there. <laughs> So feel free. Draw to Batman. What'd you, what'd Batman. You say? Batman. Batman. Draw oh, Batman yeah. on there. Yeah, the uh, the world famous uh, GI Joe character, Batman. <laughs> so how's Lego it? Batman? <laughs> Lego Batman. <laughs> right now, I'm leaning towards Snake Eyes because I mean, Snake Eyes Batman. Snake Eyes is the badass character. Uh, then the last Batman. one I got is uh, Big Game Number Five, which is uh, feels like a double sized book. So. This has been a super cool series from Mark Millar where he ties in all of his other mini series together. So it's definitely something to check out if you like his uh his Millar verse. Is that what yeah. it's called? I'd go with that. Yeah. Mm. But that's it for me this week. All that's right. a good stack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got some stuff I'm uh, I'm really excited to read. So we Sal, you ready? You're up. Now. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Hey, folks. How you guys doing? Hi. If you haven't clicked like and sub and subscribe to the Codex Station, please do so now. This is your opportunity. All right. So let's start into it. I have Uncanny Adventures number four. Mm. They're in Times Square and their faces are plastered all over the all over Times Square. I also got the Detective Comics. Uh, what number was this again? Ten ten seventy seven. Yeah. I picked up an astonishing Iceman number four. One one member away from the, uh, oh, yeah. from the amazing the, friends. The amazing friends. So I picked up the Outsiders, but I, I picked up this alternate cover. That was like really it. bad at. Oh, that's cool. That was the that last one at the shop. It was oh, the that's why Sal, Sal got to the shop before me. That's why. I did. I also picked up the GL number five. And <laughs> I got the spine tingling Spider Man. Oh, I got that coming too. That is a super cool cover. So uh, next up, that's my um, LCS pool. Next up is my HCC pool. And if you guys need uh, books, got to go check out Heroes Corner Comics. They're at heroescornercomics.com or Heroes Corner Comics Insiders on Facebook. You can set up pool lists. They've got store exclusives. They've got back issues. They've got slabs. they got a ton of stuff. And if you set up a pool list through previews, you can get a, uh, a bunch of books uh, at a discounted price as well. So please check them out. I know I have a, a pull list with them. I think Jamie's got a pull list with them. I know Tim's got a pull list with them. And this is half of it right here. Woo! Yeah. So, and don't forget, also, you guys can save yourself 20% at checkout using the keyword code X. That's C-O-D-E-X. Thank you for chiming in on that one. So if you do an online order, use that code word to save 20% on that order. All right, so let's go ahead and get right to the issues. I got a Batman trick or treater. Uh, got this unnatural order. Oh, Picked up me. this 
Al Capone vampire book. Oh, love it. Well, I hadn't heard of that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is by, looks like it says American Mythology Productions. I have no idea who that is. So, all right. So, let's just go ahead and get, get, talk about the elephant in the room. Venom books. This is Venom number 27. <laughs> okay. Notice there's one copy of that. No, so, notice that there's several copies of this. There's there's the, the Moon Knight variant of that. It's kind right. of hard to see with that glare. Jeez. There, there it is. There it is. Perfect. There, there it is. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the cover for that. Like it. And then there's a good variant of that one, which I also like too. So notice there was no duplicates, cover, you know, the same cover. Notice okay. there's no same issue that he showed. Well, if you would check out my HTC pool on my video on my on my channel, you'll also see that as well. So, well, so you didn't show them <laughs> either. He put them off to the side. Now he got smart. He got tired of getting made fun of, so he just takes his stack of them, puts them to the side, and then gives all right, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. Thank you. He's so telling me this corner like you need to package all the dupes in a separate box. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna where's throw the, that on where's here. The freaking mute button, dude. <laughs> So I picked like up this that. Captain Marvel with the negative space background. It, yeah, this is pretty awesome. That's a cool cover. I like that one. Mm -hmm. We've got Doctor Strange. Nice. Mm -hmm. And this other Doctor Strange. Oh, that one's cool. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got a Moon Knight variant for Doctor Strange. I think something's happening with Moon Knight that's really, uh, you know. Yeah, Night's End. I don't yeah, they're killing him. Else. Oh yeah, he's gonna come back as a mutant a month later. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> we got Predator versus Wolverine. Number was it number two? Yes, number two. I was gonna say that was a lot of Doctor Strange covers there. It's gonna make Venom jealous. Yeah, I'm sure. Then we have <laughs> another Predator Wolverine one. Got a Jean Grey number three. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. And another Jean Grey number three. The fiery redhead edition. I do like that oh. one. Keep that book right. away from Uncle Gary. Yeah, <laughs> I will. So we got Amazing Spider-Man number thirty-seven. <clears throat> yeah, Amazing Spider-Man variant. And this cool Amazing Spider-Man variant. Love it, Ramita. Yeah. Yep, that's an awesome one. Uh, I believe this is the A cover uh, for thirty-six. So I got my copy of thirty-six in there. This is a variant for 36. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And this is also another uh, variant for 36. The Stormbreakers variant. Nice. Uh, oh, this is out of order. This is number 37. This is a, uh, you know, the, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's just a Sinister Six type of uh, cover. And you know, and ladies also, and gentlemen, he reads every one of these, even the variants. He's like, well, I bought four copies of this, so I got to read it four times. Well, <laughs> you know, I always tell Tim, it could be different. You never know. So I picked up the uh, right. the Disney 100, This is, but this is Amazing Spider-Man number one, number 37 as well. Uh, picked up this X-Men Red, which I did show off last week with my LCS pool, but it comes with my HCC pool as well. Picked up this variant for X-Men Red. All right, and then I got this Avengers number seven. Yeah, it's a wraparound cover. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey, and Jamie's favorite, X-Men number 28, Cyclops cover. Yeah, you can get rid of that. Nope, because I got, a, I got a second one just for you. <laughs> well, if you're going to send it, I'll take it. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a comic, even though we're going to see a live burning on a stream yeah. one day. You will not be burning the uh, Cyclops. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, X Men number twenty eight. The There's another wraparound. Is that, another wraparound. Is that uh, uh, was that Mark sorry? Brooks? I think it is Mark, Mark Brooks. Brooks. Is that a wraparound so. or a reach around? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes you, you smile, you, Uncle Gary. You, you pay, you <laughs> well, pay extra well, for the reach around. Now it's a party. <laughs> you got to pay extra for the reach oh, around. That's and cool. That, that's cover. That's an mm -hmm. awesome cover. And check it out. Look, it's a Moon Knight variant. Oh. I am loving the Moon Knight <coughs> variants. Yeah. And I do believe this was the uh, A cover for that. Yep. 
All right. Uh, this was Alpha Flight 3. No variance on that. And now it's the DC stash. We'll start off with some foily goodness of Supergirl. Yes. Yep. Nice. Right there. Right there. That's some good stuff. Okay, got the return of Superman with uh, all the reign of the Superman on there. Also got the, uh, the these uh, books here. Like they're these are mimicking the covers from the '90s. Yep. For each one, I believe this was the Vindicator one. Yes. This was the Hank Henshaw one, if I remember right. <laughs> and speaking of Hank Henshaw, I picked up this foily goodness. Nice. Ooh. Hank Henshaw on the cover. I was right. trying to get him to buy that one at the shop, and he said, I already got it from here's corner. I was like, buy it again. Yeah. I was like, another no, one. No. No. All right. Hands like the little part. devil on your shoulder where he's just like. I know. I've, just I've gotten used to it. Right. I just punch him. <laughs> so, bonus points. Who can guess this character's helmet? Oh, That's, nice. Magog. That is uh, Magog. Magog. Yeah, Magog. Which book so is that? That was a variant for the Superman. That was a variant for the Superman books. Oh, okay. And, of course, the foily goodness of Superman. All right, that mm -hmm. one's cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, tell, All them right. You, tell them what you tried to get John at the shop to do to my pull since you got there before. <laughs> me. I got there before. I'm like, we gotta, I got I to gotta prank Dan somehow. I said, can you, like, replace his entire pull stack with, like, this unnatural order? He's like, he's like. I can't do that. And I'm like, oh, come on. It'd be fun. He goes, he goes, one of my job descriptions is how not to prank my customers. And I'm like, oh, come on. You're no fun. And I said, you know what? Grab all the cap wolves off there and give him the cap wolf. He hates cap wolf. And it comes in. And he's like, come on, grab a cap wolf. He's like, oh, I kind of like it. It's pretty good. It's got a good story to it. I'm like, really, Dan, you're killing me. You're killing me. You're killing my... I told, you, I told you this book is different from that crappy 90s uh, storyline they did. It's different. It's different. It's still cap wolf. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Detective Comics, uh, 1075. And then we got some uh, variants on that. This is a pretty cool one. Kelly we Jones. Got, this, uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. got the person in the background is like beating up, laying in the, laying in the spotlight mm -hmm. there. Gary, I believe you showed this one off last week, so I finally yeah. got that one. That's a great cover. Cool. All right, got this one as well. Oh, that's neat. Yep. Yeah. And I got this one as well. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> And I do believe this is the A cover. Yeah. Yep. That was a. All right. So now we move into Batman. We got this one. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that one. Yeah. I had that one. And I believe, Uncle Gary, you showed this one off with all the bats in the background on this yeah. one. Yeah. That's, that's pretty that's cool. Diodato. Yep. Yes. Yeah, it's a Diodato cover. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's uh, one more variant. Bane oh, giving cool. uh, Batman a nice back right. massage. Is that that's the action, action figure, figure variant? Yeah. Yeah. It's the action figures. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's like something Toy Fair would have done back in the day. Yeah. And I picked up this really cool foil one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the uh, the Batman glitch. Yeah. Mm hmm And also got this Batman with Catwoman. Oh, I like that. And then, of course, this is the A cover for that. And one more foily goodness. We got the cat one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty okay. sexy. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right, so that's my pools. I got a mail call and I got four slabs. Am I going through those as no, well? No, for it. All right, so let me give a shout out to Jonathan Bice. He is on one of the Facebook groups selling stuff, and I always buy stuff from him. He, I used to buy a lot of slabs from him, but he hasn't had slabs lately. But he's had a lot of good back issues for sale. So let's get this. Uh, they rip that open. I should have had that prepared earlier. Grab a knife, sir. Knife okay. safety rules, Tim. Now in effect, please be careful. Sapphire Glow put in the in the comment. He's he said if it has Spider Gwen on the cover, there's a 99% chance he's gonna buy it. Same with <laughs> <laughs> let's face it, that's more than 99%, right? It's yeah, it's like me with Venom covers. That's right. right? All right. This is Jam. Oh, he said oh, he has there. and he said he sold all his slabs that he only has uh one, one remaining around laying around on the shelf. I almost bought a slab from uh, the day at that lot con, but I didn't have it in the budget, so I didn't get it. In other words, I wasn't there standing over his shoulder. Going, yeah, buy it. Buy it. We uh -huh. don't see doesn't have a budget. You see his HVC stash. <laughs> you see the wall behind okay. him? Yeah. All right, here we go. 
We got Uncle it. Gary's over here like, what's a budget? Paper <laughs> <laughs> chills, number right. 11. Look at that. You're, dude, Uncle Gary's rubbing off on you so hard. You're starting Chipper to grow hair back. 14. <laughs> really? Oh, man. I don't man. think so. I don't think so. That, that's just gone. And number 15 there. Look, the... look at you buying the horror. Damn. Hey, man. Son. Yeah. What do you have, like seven, right. seven or eight books from that series now? Yes, I believe so. Well, he has right, weird next. mystery. Now he's got Chamber of Chills. Yep. Oh, is that a different one? Yep. So we got a Death of the Venomverse uh, oh, cover. Cool. There we go. That's nice. And nine, nine point 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 eight. Very nice. Put that guy over here. Now I got these books from a uh, guy from uh, Lost Boy Comics, and I'll show you the freebie first. So he threw in this freebie as well. Oh, okay, that's so he gave me a return. Yeah, Return of the Spider Man. Uh, Spider Man Ret Superior Spider Man oh, Returns, and it's a trade variant, uh, art by Raph uh, Grassetti. It's five number five thirty three out of seven hundred. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. So, but these are the slabs that I picked up. We got X Men number one. The Magneto cover. Nine. Are you not going to show us the grade? I'm yeah. going to say. I'm going to guess nine six. It's got to be a nine eight. Nine eight. Nine, oh eight. nine. It's a like, I feel bad sometimes because I think Sal sits there and if he doesn't get a 9 8, he just recontemplates his whole life. <laughs> I do. I do. All right. Like, Look this at this. In the burn pile. Yep. I quit. 9 8. We got the 9 8. 9 9 8. 9, nine, eight. Eight. nine eight. And of course, what's next? X Men number one. 9 8. <laughs> 9 8. 9 8. On nine, eight. eight. So now I'm on the hunt for the last X-Men book cover of that one. It's the uh, one with uh, Beast, uh, right? Beast, Beast on it, Jean Grey, and um, uh, Char uh, Professor X on it. Yes. So and if I get that 9-8, I can go up there. And you oh, have the whole uh, connecting wall. Yeah. But I'll have nice. the whole connecting wall. Nice. All right, folks. That uh, does it for my no, stash. Sal, I need to go back. Your yeah. chambers are chill. Chamber chills. What numbers did you have? I you have. 15, 14, and 11. Oh, let me see. 50, yeah, let me see the 11. That's that. That's the 11. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't Yeah, I don't have 11. Some bitch. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I know. That's Chamber impossible. How about 14? Oh, yeah. I got Chamber Chills went 24 issues. I need 11, 17, 20, 21, 23, and upgrade 25. So I'll get an 11, though. But. I was like, son of a gun. He's got one that I didn't have. But he got like the way he got up was so disrespectful. <laughs> he just got up and he's like, I'm 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 I, I can't believe he did it. I can't believe I don't I, don't I, know, I, I had to know because I was pretty sure the eleven was the one I didn't have. Yeah. Well, That's all right. I may maybe, I may rectify that tomorrow, buddy. Ooh. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe Sandal will be good for it. Good to you, huh? Oh, so yeah, we're supposed to have books I don't have. What? <laughs> there was something I remember I bought not long ago where you said, like, I don't have that one. It made me feel so good about myself. Well, you have know. that first have saber tooth to. I don't have. That, yeah. uh, iron, that Iron Fist uh, with saber tooth I don't have. Yeah, I've got the I've got that whole run. That series only ran, like, 14 or 15 issues. But if you want Claremont and Burn before X-Men, that was a good yep. one. Yep. Did, did you say Claremont? Look at that second row, baby. <laughs> That's all signed by Claremont. That's second oh. row. And speaking of X Men, that that eBay auction I sent you is up to two oh, yeah. two seventeen now. Yeah, that's all right. Pass. You rich. I was watching it too, but I didn't look at it today. All right, let's get into mine. And as always, guys, I'm always a week behind because I go every two weeks to go get my comics because I live in Bufu, Wisconsin, and my comic shop's an hour away. So. Oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna show off your HCC books first. Because... I got them first, but I was just let them know, like I always do. Okay. All right, very good, very good. All right. So, so we'll time says, my... Gary, sounds like you've got your mission for Frederick tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm. I do. Uh -oh. All right. So starting off, I have my variant for Something's Killing the Children, That's number awesome. 34. That's a cool cover. That is. All the white mask. Uh, like Sal, I got The Return of Superman, the 30th anniversary special. Is that That's not the foily goodness one, though. No, That's it's because you That's took the, the last one. <laughs> I have Venom number 27. Uh, 27. Wait, what? what? 
Okay, that's just the clearing. Nice. Guys. That's just the uh, Moon Knight cover. It's okay. And I, that that's one. why I got it. Why else wasn't I? Style of the meeting, you're looking through his right to count how many. He was like, I thought that stack was a little a little short. Yeah. <laughs> I got my uh, Crypt of Shadows. Nice. Very nice. I finally got the last issue for the Gotham War, Scorched Earth. Yep, that's nice. cool. I, I love this. I love the whole series. Um, I got the variant for... Deadpool Batter Blood number five. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Guess you got that one. Oh, Next okay. up, I have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 113. I love this cover. Oh, oh did you see cool. the snow? That's pretty cool. Did you see the slabs that were on sale for, no, for Power Rangers? It was it was uh, the Yellow Ranger and Pink Ranger. And they oh, were really? like it was it was all their color background and they were just one was standing with the uh, the bow and arrow type of thing. It was pretty oh, cool. no, I, I was tagged you on that. You should have. Well, did uh, you see? Did you check out the Power Rangers Kickstarter I sent you? Yes, I did. Where it's being written by Amy. The return, Jones. yeah. I'm definitely going in for that. And then I got the Unnatural Order, like Sal did. Oh, uh, cool cover. Yep. All right, I'm gonna show off the stuff that I got from mycomicshop.com as well before I get in my pools. There you go. I got. Let's start off here. Bad Girl 13 from the New 52. Good cool. cover. Great cover. Yeah. Uh, then I got number 14. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, and then I'm almost done completing my Return of Jason Todd line for Batman. So I got Batman 642. Nice. Very nice. And also... 643. Oh, love it. Yeah, that's cool. That's I just love it. Hey, you're upside down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, right. um, are you looking for, for Batman New 52 back issues by any chance? Batman? No, I got everything Batman. Okay. All right. I'm working on having a sale, right a sale on them. Oh, cool. Um, so we'll start off with my pool or get to my pools now, but I have House of Slaughter number 19. Nice. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Yeah. Uh, Transformers number two. Yeah, that's very cool. nice. That was a cool book. The Dead Lucky number ten, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, Ranger Academy number two. Cool. Gargoyles Dark Ages number four. Oh, I like that cover. Yeah. All right, and going into Marvel, I got uh, Thanos' Return of the Mad Titan. Nice. Uncanny Spider-Man number three. Yeah, that's a good one. I've read that one. Yep. Little 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 Nightcrawler uh, Silver Sable action going on in that book. Yep. Yes, indeed. Uh, The Amazing Spider-Man thirty-seven. Venom number 27. Great cover. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, the Ultimate Universe. Oh, cool. That was a good read. Uh, Avengers number seven. I'm enjoying that book. Yeah, I love this book. Cool okay, book. for Uncle Gary, because I don't have Uncle Gary money, um, <laughs> I'm going to just basically just show them off. But I got Flash 123. Oh, very nice. That's yeah. an important book to have. Yep. Yes. Yes, it is. And then I also got All Star Comics number three. That is go. a great book to have. Yep. Yeah, as I don't we, know, as we found, found out when we were talking book. the other night, that it, that's Uncle Gary's grail. That That is my grail. If we took away, you know, if you take away Detective 27 and Action 1, the, the book I would put as my grail is All Star 3. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got the facsimile, so I beat you to something. No. <laughs> uh, I got the Joker, uh, the Man of Stop Life in 12. Nice. I, was really digging cool. that I like that. That's cool. Have you read it yet? No, I'm catching up on everything. Uh, Batman 139, same one Sal has. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Still a cool cover. Yes. Uh, Poison Ivy number 16. Nice cover. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. 
I got the Supergirl special. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's cool. That's pretty uh, cool. I got Detective Ten Seventy Five. Yep, the great Kelly Jones cover. Yep, I love it. Yeah. And then nice. the, also another one to say I'll head, 1076. There you go. And then I have Blue Beetle number two. Oh, that's neat. Are, are you liking the Blue Beetle? I am, actually. So yeah. far, it's really good. And then Blue Beetle number three. Oh, I like that, too. Good cover. Right. Yeah, that is cool. So that's everything for me this week. So, without further ado, the Ric Flair of comics himself. Woo! Hey, take the floor. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start off with our Marvel. This is a book that I'm really digging is Ghost Rider. So, I'm enjoying yeah. that book quite a bit. That's a pretty wicked cover. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ghost, Rider. Ghost Riders have been good. Um, Cap Wolf, let's stay on the dark side of the street there. <laughs> Cap Wolf, all right. Dan's favorite. Yeah, Dan's favorite. I told you, um, man, the first issue wasn't bad. Yep. Uncanny <laughs> Avengers. Uncanny yep. Avengers. Digging it. Uh, Daredevil. Yep. Fantastic Four with a Alex Ross cover. Doom riding a robotic dinosaur. Can't go wrong there. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool we were talking. We were talking in the shop. Is it going to be like, like T? T- T Rex Doom or is it Victor Von Rex? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's it's silly, but it's fun. Silly fun. It's, it's too bad we already. Did, as I say, it's too bad we already did the character of the week episode on Doom because that could have easily been one of someone's top three covers. Yeah, yeah. Yep. could have been. But more of that Alex Ross goodness for Thor. Some superior Spider Man. There you go. That's a cool yeah. cover. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also Alpha Flight, like I think Sal was Alpha Flight. Yep. And I'm getting Dark X Men. So that 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 uh, is my Marvel stack. Um, we'll go into uh, Independent now. This is actually for Sal. Um, Battle Action. So oh yes, thank you, sir. Appreciate that's that. For him. Yeah. I actually was not at our shop this week, so. Okay, well, uh, like Let's I said, I'll send you to pick them up when you need them. Rocketeer, okay. Den of Thieves. So that's right. issue three of Battle Action. Um, I got the G.I. Joe facsimile. And back in the day, I had this book. This is one of the few collections I let go. I had the first 12 issues, I guess, and I, I sold them years ago. So Well, I, I, I think, I don't think that's. A direct facsimile. I think I was reading something where it said for the for the first time it's the original dialogue that Larry Hama wrote for it. So oh okay. Well. So I uh, I put that on my poll. I guess they didn't get enough copies in, but so I'm interested. I keep meaning to look up like why didn't they put his original dialogue in it when it was first published? Oh, uh, it got me, got me on that. Um, Geiger. So. Again, I'm digging this book a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. Gary Frank. I think we're going to have to pick that up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, after dark, so we can show this. Oh, the red light. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Nice. You want to see the interiors yep. on this with all the nudity? <laughs> <laughs> Flip it. Let's go. You, you want to see the redhead whose carpet matches the drapes in here? Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> so. I can't show that even on After Dark. I know. Uh, da da da. Yeah, da da da. Hey, it's After Dark. We're allowed to do that. I didn't send, use send, the send me the pictures. <laughs> send you the pictures. Oh, here we go. Um, this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, is it Deviant? What the hell is the name of this? Yeah, Deviant. This is called the Deviant, and it's mm-hmm. a little Christmas story, and we got a little die cut snow globe cover. You know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. So there's two versions. There's another version of this where it's uh, just this character on the cover surrounded by carnage. So a little different from the interior cover. So that's Deviant. And we will now attempt the DC Stacks Sandman. Also, the variant, which I think is pretty cool. 
Yeah. Oh, I yeah. hadn't seen that. Yeah. That's really cool. There's another variant. I think it's the one in 25. We got one, and Rob took it. Um, as as principal owner, it's his right. It is really <laughs> cool. So there's one more um, variant on that. A book I'm just loving so much, Danger Street. Love me some Danger Street. Which characters oh. uh, focused on in that issue? Well, just, um, this one was codenamed Assassin, you know, but but it's interspersing all of the characters at this point. Batman, oh, okay. and, Batman and Robin 3. Um, a variant for Batman and Robin 3. I like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot, too. Um, I haven't read it yet, but Rob really liked The Outsiders. So I look forward to giving that a giving that a whirl. Um, the world's finest Teen Titans book. That's a cool cover too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like Chris Sammy. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the Chris Sammy cover. Yeah. Um, I'm really liking the Superman Lost book. So kind of digging it. Uh, Priest is writing it. So as as liking it. Also, uh, Detective, the last issue, this was really good. Ram V is uh, writing this now. So I thought it was very interesting. And we'll finish it out with Green Lantern for my DC polls. Um, and I did have, oh, yeah, I've got a yeah, few, few other issues. This is going to my buddy Sal there. This is a all-star shiny oh, yeah. goodness. Nice. So that, Boily goodness, baby. Boily, Boily goodness. goodness. That, that goes in the stack with that battle action. This will go to Tim. The Boily goodness. Um, nice. Wonder Woman, number one. Um, this also will go to Tim. The facsimile of that. And the facsimile of All-Star 3 will go to Tim. Um, cool. So my back issue... Next week, I should have some really good back issues. Is this anybody know what book this might be? Black Widow. Black Is Widow. It... Anybody else? Um, no idea. You all think Black Widow? Um, is that the Avengers, like the old TV show? That's that could be uh, Emma Peel, but it is Heat Seeker, baby. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is the, okay. from the Gun Honey series. This is the heat, um, mm. heat seeker. Um, Bill Sinkavich is how I say it, but it may be Sinkovich. But anyway, that's that's his. Hell of a profile she's got going there, right, fellas? Yeah. I just I'm concerned how long her arm is. Well, <laughs> it's you know he's very angular, but I, I I like the curves better than the angles. So yeah, yeah. So there's that. All right, showcase time. So right, real fast, Uncle Gary. Yep. From Sapphire, that is the plan. Um, we're trying so hard to get there, be a partner with YouTube. So it takes everybody help to subscribe and watch and just get us there. We thank you every to everybody who's done it so far. We're getting very, very close. So hopefully, yes. If not this year, next year for sure. We're just chugging along. We'll get there. But thanks for your uh, participation, Adam. I appreciate you, brother. Yes. So thank you, sir. Most definitely. And real real quick, Uncle Gary, I just want to throw out to everybody, since this is After Dark, you will be seeing us on other uh, platforms as well with other YouTube creators and other comic shops. So stay tuned for that. That's right. Uh, Adam, we, um, Jamie will be on the Nerd Show with us in December at one point. So, And hopefully we'll get the other fellows on as we go through this. So, yeah, And we will be with Mon Comics on YouTube as well um december 2nd nice so very nice now into the spotlight all, all right here we go spotlight we're gonna do some batman books we're gonna do uh woo, detectives woo nice stack of detectives so i'm gonna start in from pretty much from 1973 till mid 75 we're gonna complete run of batmans i just I just pulled a hunk out of the show. I just love the fact that you walked up and you're like, what am I going to show today? And you're not even, you're just putting your fingers, like rubbing them against the comics. And you're like, this stack's good. This stack is good. So we'll go 50 years in the past um, and bring these out. Uh, my, so I'm going to start with issue 
uh, with with um detective 430 my detective run starts at um i am 279 up which is uh a 1960 so i'm from 1960 now with a complete run of detective that ain't bad right 60 yeah. was that 63 years it. you take it yep so i got 63 straight years every damn detective that's been out but anyway um we're gonna start with 430 just look how pretty that is. Nice. Yeah. And that and that beautiful. That condition looks really good too. Well, just yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice shape. Single owner? Single owner, right? Oh, yeah. Well, no, this was before I actually started. You will oh. get into in the, in what I'm showing you today, you'll see my first um where I started buying them. All right. So very good. So these these I had to go back and get. Yeah. 431. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Cool. Mm -hmm. Love it. 431. Oh, uh, here's a 432. Yeah. Isn't that All right. pretty? 432. All right. 433. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Batman getting yeah, Batman getting cool. his little strangle on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He's Batman's kinkier than you thought he was. <laughs> All right. All right. Batman 434, great spook cover. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm So, really cool. 434. You got to have a continued two-parter there with Batman and the yep. spook. I like how they have the uh, cover design where they got that, like, that border on the side. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you yep. I was going to say, it looks like a pan oh, just a panel. Yeah. Yep. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, because you had a Jason Bard story in here as a backup. All right, this is a great cover. Um, 436. This one could use a little bit of an upgrade, but it's okay. Still, still good enough, right? Right. Still good enough. 436. If only books still cost 20 cents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This show All would right. be like four hours every week because we just go into the shop. Like, I'll buy two of everything on the shelf that came out. Well, Sailor <laughs> does that, but. <laughs> 437. This is a great Jim Aparo cover. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that great? So it's Jim Aparo. I do love some Aparo covers. And I love the, the format has changed a little bit, how the book is designed. This is more in line with the original Detective Comics logo with the large masthead. Yeah. Like that. So I dig that. Um, oh, now we get into something really special. 100 pagers. Ooh. So there's 438. <laughs> And the original, the first hundred pages were a hundred pages for fifty cents. Later on, they became most of them were sixty centers, but the original ones in seventy three were uh, fifty cents. <clears throat> so, so now Detective is being published. You know, it's bi monthly right now. But oh, there's another great Aparo. And you know, you got all these backup stories that were so good that were reprints, but still. That's how you got a great vast knowledge of the DC universe is reading, you know, the great backup yeah. story, you know, the, the reprints that were in these great books. And look, look at that square bound goodness, you know, Oh yeah, on those books. Uh, all right. Detective 440. The Dean, uh, no, um, that's oh, an that's Apollo. Cool. Yeah. So just so nice. Right. All right. So this is the first Batman I ever bought or the first detective I ever bought. It's not my copy. I have I have, my copy's a little more beat and but I still have it and I won't get it. It's funny when I upgrade copies that I originally bought, I can't get rid of those books. I'll keep them as doubles, but I've got a box just for them. When I upgrade a book that I bought to complete the runs that I didn't buy off the shelves, I can go ahead and you know, trade them back or do whatever, but I can't do it with the ones that I bought off the spinner rack. So yeah. I still have, I still have my um, original. Well, actually, I lied to you. It's the next issue, four forty-two. This is not my first. <laughs> one. So there I go. But still a good Aparo cover. Yeah. Yep. You know, really need a Aparo cover. So it's this one, and I love this cover. Oh, that is cool. Death flies the yep. haunted sky. So I have, uh, like I said, I have my original still, but this is an upgraded book. So like it. 
And at that point, I was armed. Now, this isn't the original one I bought, but this is an upgrade. I still have my original detective. And this, you were you were getting a brand new Manhunter story in these books. And this, that was by Walter Simonson. And, uh, and uh, shoot, was it Grunwald? No, Walter Simonson. I can't remember the writer's name right now. I, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on that. But it culminated with this issue, and it was a great Batman-Manhunter crossover. And it was... It was exceptional. So that was great. Um, 444. With Batsy shooting tall, you in the back. And yeah. this made him a wanted man by the Gotham PD for uh, about a six-month run in the comics because he shot her in the back. Supposedly. Supposedly, right? Well, if he um, didn't shoot her, they never would have gotten Damien. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he shot her all right. <laughs> this Jamie was just sitting there, like, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, wait, wait. Like <laughs> so this is my original one that I bought, and you can see it's got some damage up there. I will need to upgrade this one. So, I was looking at it today, so I will need to upgrade it, and then I'll end up keeping it. But so, this is one I bought off the shelves almost 50 years ago, you know. Yeah, I bought it. This is uh, this book's from 1970. Uh, uh, well, it's March cover date, so that means it either came out in like December or January. So either December of 74 or January of 75, um, because, you know, the cover date's a lot later. All right, so that was the last 100 pagers. Now we went back to, you know. The, I've got now, that one. Yep, Dan does have this one. Yep. So this is my, that was my original copy. That was pretty decent. So that's my original copy. Uh, there's 447 with the creeper. Oh, that's cool. And again, they they yeah, sparkle, cool. they sparkle in these um Gerber bags too. Yeah. And then now now I'm going front to back with them. Um, and there's the reprise of the Talia oh. cover. So where he shot her in the back, now Gordon is shooting Batman in the back. So you know. I love that. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> excellent, absolutely. 449. Midnight Rustler, Gotham City. So there you go. Batman stopping a stampede. So, and you're also getting the long cowboy. Yep. You're also getting the long aided man story in here, right? So, yep. And bonus. Bonus. And we're going to end it with that Detective 450. So, there we go. That's about two and a half years of detective books. So, so my my earliest detective book is three fifty six, but I I don't start collecting consistently until a little bit later. Yeah, that's that's still good. That's I just jumped good. on detective. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so mine is three. Yeah, so mine is one or two seventy nine through whatever number that one we were showing off today is. So yep. not a bad run. Seven hundred issue run, run pretty much. Right. Yeah. Yep. Jesus. But yeah, that that's that's two long boxes and a short box, maybe. Yeah. Well, they're on the shelves. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite it's yeah. it's good around sixty years worth, sixty four, sixty three years worth of an so eight eight eighty is what that is what Detective One went up to. Plus the yeah, thousand, and, and, uh, thousand, the million, the million uh, number book yeah. for volume one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, excuse yeah. me. Eight eighty one plus that main book. So plus technically eight hundred. Yeah. Plus. So it's eight eighty two is what is actually issues number of issues. Was it? Well, there was a, a zero issue too, right? When yeah. They zero hour. Oh, there. Was, yeah. Okay. There you go. Plus, Detective actually starts at twenty seven for Batman. So. Right. right. Um. Yeah. Now, Slam Bradley. Who's a character DC has used for years? He debuted in Detective One, so he pre predates Batman. Um, yeah. goes all the way back to the original Detective. Detective One predates Action One, too. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, Uncle Gary, I got a question. Yes. And it's if you have it or not. Do you have Strange Adventures two hundred five? Of the Dead Man. Yeah, I have every. Yeah, I have all of them. He's like, yeah. yeah. Can, can yeah. you uh, next time we have a show, uh, I'm on. Pull that one. 
Well, how about I pull the whole run? That's fine. Yeah, absolutely. That that, yeah, that, that is that right now is my grail that I want to find. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, Archduke Kevy wants one seventy nine. I think it is the Animal Man one. I, yeah. I actually don't. I don't have that one. But yeah, um, two hundred five was a Carmen Infantino. No, was that Infantino or was that? Oh, shit, I can't remember the name. Well, the first two issues were not Neil Adams' interior art, and then mm-hmm. the third issue, Adams came on and started doing them, and the covers were off the chain then. But yeah, absolutely, I will. Uh, I will. I will find the uh, Dead Men. I'll find the Strange Adventures. <laughs> I'll have to track them down. I'll find them. But yeah, yeah I have the whole run. You'll just be like, yeah, it is this stack right here. <laughs> do, you have, do you have the, uh, like, Amazing Spider-Man number one? Do you have that one? I don't know. My, yeah, Sp- my, Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man, my Amazing Spider-Man run doesn't start until um, my complete run starts at, yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're not going to do this because i just seen you post about it. I love the way you say that. Yeah, my, my, my complete run starts at, oh, yeah, number one. <laughs> you know? uh, uh, amazing Spider-Man 15. Yeah. All right. Well, and I have the Amazing Fantasy 15, but you know it's a letdown because I don't have Amazing Fantasy one through 14. Yeah, that's you know, true. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm slacker. I just I'm have ashamed 15. Of, I'm ashamed of you on that. Who knew? I, I know. You have to add them to the yeah. list. Yeah, I'm gonna add, gonna gonna have to. I, I said something like that at the shop the other day, and my uh, like Katie said that is just like the most obnoxious <laughs> brag. I said, Yeah, you're right. It's not a humble brag, is it? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I don't you know, have the first 14. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know. Well, I can probably trade that 15 for the first 14 pretty easy. Very. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, they're, there's not even a, a choice in that. It's like, yeah, you have them. <laughs> well, you know, I, I debated when I got my AF-15. It was at Baltimore. Geez, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years ago. And I was either going to get the Showcase 4 or the AF-15. I went ahead and got the um, AF-15. And I think I paid 3300 for it. And it's a 1-0. But the fellows have seen it. It's a good-looking yeah. 1-0. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know, yeah. Real, the cover's detached is really what is against it. And um, right now, that book is 20000 Yeah, yeah. You know, for, for that. Um, the Showcase... I did end up getting one, the Showcase Four, but it has not grown like the um, AF AF fifteen has. I mean, that book has just exploded. Yeah. So I, I made the right choice. Yeah, you did without a doubt, definitely, hundred percent. But I was gonna say, I think this is a great place to end for tonight, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. As always, I am Jim. Yep, thank you, J Dub. With me as always, I got Sal. The slab guy. So tell them where they can find you. We're not doing Codex things on Codex. Oh, all right. Well, I'm not on Codex. You can always find me on YouTube under Sal's Comic Corner. <laughs> there is a ticker under Sal's Comic Corner and on Instagram as the slab guy 77. Then there's this guy down below me. The man who loves I guess Instagram. You can find me on, there we go. You can find me on Instagram at Dan Kelly Art. So, uh, Come check it out. Give me a follow. Uh, I just just got over 800, so um, oh, my next cool. goal is to hit 1,000 as quickly as I can. So, you know, we'll see how fast that goes. But, uh, yeah, come check what's, it out. And, uh, what's the saying, what you... Gare? What's the saying? 1K, 1K for DK. DK. <laughs> 1K for DK. That's right. That's what we want. Oh, Get him need. to 1,000. Yes. That's what we need. But this guy beside me. I mean, I just got Instagram going on, but he's got so much more going on. He's going to tell you about that right now. I am a proud co-owner, part owner of Comic Logic. We are Loudoun County, Virginia's only comic book store. Please come in and see us. If you need to get your four-color fix, you can get it just like I do. We put it right in these veins. We pump that four-color ink, and it makes you strong, baby. You can lift long boxes all day long. <laughs> and that's amazing. You get that four-color comic goodness in you. Woo! And not just the old books, which aren't as heavy, but the new Ultimate um, you know, Ultimate Universe books that were so heavy. You know, of all the books I have, the like the Ultimate Spider-Man, those long boxes, man, they are heavy <laughs> with the paper they used in those. But, yeah, come get your fix, man. And we also do a Facebook Live show 
on the first three Thursdays of every month. We do our uh, preview show the first Thursday, the second and third Thursdays. Me and my buddies, we are the Grumpy Old Nerds. Uh, my best friend, Mike Harbour, and our principal owner, Rob Kalen. And we talk books. Oh. Oh. And yeah, come back to us, Gary. He's there. He's there. He, he's, he's there? I think. I, no, I don't think so. They talk books. They talk pop culture. They talk everything. They just did old man style. Ten. They told you to get off the lawn. They told you to get off the lawn. Yep. <laughs> and he contributes it's, to the uh, comic character. Of, oh, there he goes. Contributes yeah, to the comic goes. character of the day page on yep. um, on Facebook. 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 I, don't know, I was going to say Instagram because it is on Instagram as well. But he, you know, he posts yeah. the covers on there. I post the uh, questions of the day and the mm -hmm. random panel of the day, which he named and. All of us are on there, so go check that out as well. Yeah, good site. No toxicity. Great fun. Lots of good people on there. Yeah. Yes. And as always, because I'm just, I was waiting for that Uncle Gary segue in. The, there he is. Oh, me. there we go. Hey, yeah. There, there we go. I'm He's back, back, ladies and gentlemen. I, I needed my promo in order to do my stuff, and you weren't well, there. It, it, it's, it's coming. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll, I'll get it. Give oh, me a uh, oh. Oh, I'm going to make a couple adjustments, and I'm going to get you the promo because you're not going to know how to speak if you don't have your proper introduction. I, so, I stuttered. I was like, Dan did it, finished your whole segment off for you, and then I was like, well, thank do you. I go? Did we talk about Archduke <laughs> Kevin? Yes. Yep. yes. Yeah, all right. Good job. All right. So thank you for uh, bearing with me through the technical difficulties. But you know what doesn't have technical difficulties? The vision. The vision that this man here, that J-Dub has, there are no technical difficulties there. He was a man that had a dream. He had a dream where we could have a station, where we could talk comics. We could live comics. We could breathe comics. We could eat comics. We could sleep comics. And he knew. He had this vision, and he, he put it out there, and it is a reality now. He had to build this brick by brick by brick. He did it. And Sonny Bricks. did it, and Tim did it, and then they, they have added all these wonderful pieces to this great big building that is the Codex Station, the one, the only, the founder, J Dub. I feel like we could just go off air now after that. That was fun. Uh... <laughs> and good night, folks. <laughs> yeah. But, but before we go, thank you, old Gary. I love the promo. It makes me happy every single time. But you know what I'm about to say. Thank you all again. Go check out the CodexStation.com. It's your one-stop shop for everything. Codex, get some merch, meet the team. Let us know what you like and don't like. And find all of our socials and playlists on there so you don't miss any of the content that we're putting out for you because we love doing it for you guys every week in and out. And, guys, as always, like I say, we will see you in the next one.